We are here on the last day of Overland Expo in Flagstaff. It's day three. It's finally a little less windy today, but it's still beautiful. And I'm here at the Off Grid Trailers booth with Corey. And uh, Off Grid Trailers is a Canadian trailer builder. It seems like there are a lot of trailer builders in Canada. Would you say that's accurate? It does seem like, you know, every you know month or two, there's more and more popping up for sure. What is it about the Canadians okay. that makes you guys so, you know, qualified to build trailers? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's the cold weather. Okay. You, know? you want to stay inside, stay warm. Yeah. Well, tell me a little bit about uh, off-grid trailers and, you know, what you guys are all about. Cool. So we build all metal trailers, so there's no wood. Um, no wood in the floor, no wood in the walls, no wood anywhere. So the whole body's aluminum, steel frame. We build them to go kind of anywhere we need to go. So we give them 21 inches of ground clearance, independent suspension. On the suspension note, we just released a brand new suspension with Fabtech Motorsports, which we can talk through a little bit. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I'd love to hear more about that. And so, so is this suspension gonna be, um, is it gonna be kind of a standard option on all your trailers? Yeah, so well, it, it won't be standard. Standard, we're okay. st still going to do the Timbrin 3500 heavy okay. duty axle lift. Okay, and that's like an industry that's standard. That's standard. For, yep, yeah. yep, solid, right? Solid, it works. Yep. It does great, but we just wanted to offer a little more capability, mm -hmm. a little bit smoother of a ride, and just really, really help with the longevity of the trailer. Okay. So we've done an independent trailing arm design. We worked with Fabtech Motorsports. We have eight inches of wheel travel, um, custom valving to deal with all the bumps and you know the shaking around on the road and that's just going to help your electrical system your plumbing system you know your your connections aren't going to get shaken as much all that force is going through the suspension through that shock and it's not going to go into the trailer so we've got we've got this it's the evolution series so we're suspension? calling it the ogt evolution series by Fabtech Motorsports. Okay, and we've got it right here. We've got it right here. So do you mind kind of yeah, just totally. kind of showing it to us and talking about it? Yeah, so you get a two and a quarter inch Dirt Logic shock, a powder coated spring, and a powder coated trailing A arm with some bump stops there. So you get eight inches of wheel travel with it, um, three up, five down. So a good amount of, of movement. Totally. To yeah. smooth out, out the road for, you know, yeah, for anyone so, who's towing. Totally. So you get the wheel travel. You get a little more ground clearance, it lifts the trailer up an extra three inches. So right now you're sitting at about 23 inches of ground clearance, um, which is, you know, more than most tow vehicles will have. So anywhere your your truck, your Jeep can go, you'll be able to follow along. Okay. Um, washboard rows, you're not gonna get it shaken apart. It just floats nicely. And we build these all, um, so everything in here is nut serted together. So you don't have, you know, screws popping out of walls or any of that. Um, which is something we're pretty proud of. Cool, awesome. Well, Corey, thanks for taking the time to show us this new suspension and um, looks pretty rad. Awesome. We'll, we'll throw a link in the comments of the video so people can check it out if they Sweet. wanna learn more. Awesome, yeah. thank you. Thanks for your time, man. Thanks. One of us talking, so. Okay, looking yeah. at each other. Yeah, okay lock eye contact. Holding the whole time. Yeah. I'm rolling my we're rolling. <laughs> okay. Uh, so I'm here at the Overland Campers booth with Jay Wellman. He's the owner and founder of Overland Campers. You guys are Flagstaff locals, right? Yes. Located right here in Flagstaff. You make these super slick truck campers. Um, why don't you tell me a little bit about your company, Overland Campers? What do you guys do? What are you all about? Yeah, so we built on the idea of a functional camper that is none of the weight and all the space. Uh, and that entails vertical walls, vertical pop, full queen slide out. And then we take that a step further in construction, working with the customer and say, hey, what do you want your camper to be? And that includes side hatches, window placement. Hey, I want a window there to avoid a blind spot. Hey, I want a hatch there because of the specific water jug that I have in mind. I want a cabinet because I'm gonna put a heater in that. And so it's just more of a custom build based on a lightweight premise. So this Tacoma behind me is 288 pounds. Um, and the idea is more of a DIY. Do you want to cook inside? Do you want to be forced to cook inside? Do you want to throw an elk in the back, wash it out? Do you want to insulate it? Um, and we work with customers on that. They're kind of end use. And then make it a minute pop up, minute pop down. So camp setup is super convenient. We go even further and say, hey, do you want extra bedding height? So then you can leave more stuff in there to avoid the camp, the campsite shuffle, um, and really just focus on the utility of, you know, keeping the truck a truck while it's lightweight and functional. 
Cool. I like that, like maintaining the utility of the truck seems so crucial to me because that's like one of the big reasons to get a truck in the first place. Right. Cool. Well, I appreciate that overview. Now, I remember seeing, I think it was on Instagram because you guys post a bunch of stuff there, seeing this really cool Gen 1 4Runner project that you guys were working on. I was like, I really hope you yeah. guys have this finished <laughs> and at Overland Expo, and you do, yeah. and it's right here next to us. I honestly think it's one of the coolest rigs at the show. Uh, I think what you did with it is awesome. You know, you don't see a ton of Gen 1 4Runners on the road these days, and a custom camper on the back because it obviously has the removable back seems like such a cool and like straightforward idea but i don't know that i've ever seen one before i don't think it's been out there okay we've had a lot of people been like i want that i've tried this i've done that i've been thinking of this yeah and uh we have 20 serious people that are like hey we want on this list if you decide to do it Sweet. and it, it all came together and it's Definitely a, a beautiful thing that we are really excited about. We started with taking the shell off uh, on a Saturday and uh, Russell, this is Russell's truck, an old employee of ours. And we've started looking at it and it's the most beautiful constructed truck. It's still square, insanely square. Uh, and we were thinking about how, you know, most of our features would intertwine on this. So we did two side hatches, one on each side with the windows. So then the, you know, if you do have someone in the seat in the back, they're still able to see out and sit there under the roll cage that we left in. Uh, we did our barn door halves, which leave the tailgate on, and then you're able to barn door closed. Um, and so just a lot of our popular features on this one, we went with a lower cab over height to keep the lower profile on this. Uh, it entailed some, fortunately, back to the square thing, uh, the, sh the original shell is extremely square and nice to build for. So it required some bending on the frame to get the bolt pattern right and make up for the cornering and the gasketing on this front face to make sure it was dust and leak free, just like the original ones. I was looking at those, those bent structural pieces there and it looks sweet. It's so, it's so clean, it's so tight to the cab there. Yeah, it really came out nice. nice. Um, and so I can run through opening and closing this. A little fun thing that we didn't realize when this all went down was that the roll bar, the roll cage actually perfectly references the bed. So it's not in the way, which we were just, uh, that was serendipitous for sure. Uh huh. So yeah, you put the bed away. This is still essentially a full queen. This is one of the most narrow campers we've built, but it's essentially still a full queen slide out. To take this thing down, we'll put up the windows, put these bungees across to pull on the canvas when this thing comes down. Russell's also gonna insulate this and he's, he hand routed all these panels and he's gonna continue that up. So it's gonna be a really, really sweet finished project. Nice. So you just pull the front down and then move on to the rear. and then hop under your roll cage without kicking the rug out. And then it's, yeah, all closed up. Tuck your little canvas corners in and then go around and bolt it up. Nice. So we're really, really stoked with the finish on it. Sweet. Well, you guys did an awesome job on it. And no it's thanks. just, this truck has so much character. It's so fun to see like a custom camper on it. Um, yeah, thanks for giving us the rundown on Overland Campers, and it's really cool. I've been starting to see your guys' campers out in the wild, yeah. like out away from Arizona, which yeah. which is really awesome. I'm glad you guys have got so much traction and have you know some customers who are really psyched on your product already. Yeah. It's cool to see. When when did you guys get started? We started four years ago. Okay. Yeah. Nice. And I've been growing ever since. So yeah. It's been a lot of fun. Cool. Well, I really appreciate you yeah, chatting with me today and showing us the camper. And yeah, have a great rest of your show. Yeah. Thanks. You too. Cool. Right now I'm here at the Nimble booth. I am with Judd Newman, who is the president of Nimble Vehicles. They are an expedition vehicle manufacturer. And we're actually sitting inside their newest vehicle. It's the Evolution Camper. This is the full carbon fiber camper. Judd, this is really fun to be here with yeah, you. Yeah, thank you, appreciate I, it. I would love to hear a little bit more about, um, tell me about Nimble, you know, what do you guys do? What are you all about? To start, we um, are lifelong overlanders. 
we love this stuff. Okay. Both uh, myself and some of our business partners are not only overlanders, but have come from a corporate environment. And we decided we wanted to get out of that lifestyle. We wanted to just get out of all of corporate America, so to speak, and really build something that's unique and something that really expresses the ability to allow people to be free. Okay. I.e., our slogan, the freedom of Rome. Because the vehicle is great. It really is an incredible vehicle. But it's not about the vehicle. It's about where the vehicle can take you. And one of the unique things about the Nimble Evolution, it comes in different forms. This one's on an F550, but we traditionally uh, build them on one-ton uh, chassis, like the Ford F350, mm -hmm. is that it has a certain quality to it that is more nimble than some of the traditional expedition truck campers. You told me the total weight for this vehicle, mm -hmm. it's under 13,000 pounds, Under right? 13,000. It Obviously, it varies on how it's configured and gas tanks and all that, but uh, on yeah. average, about 12, okay. sometimes even less. Yeah, 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 that's incredible. And so with such a light, <laughs> nimble vehicle, yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, you're not really restricted. You can go where you want to go for the most part. No, right? and that is really the beauty of it. Yeah. Um, we have customers that, first of all, all of our customers, the majority, I should say, they are sports enthusiasts. They have some other hobby. They love to uh, hang glide. Uh, they love to... Uh, snowboard, uh, mountain bike, whatever the space uh, case may be, they have something that they really, really love to do. And this vehicle is designed to take them there, to be able to do those things. So we have uh, customers that take these vehicles around the world, that have taken them to Africa, that have taken them to Australia, uh, all across uh, South America, like Ram Bell's now down on the sure. uh, Pacific uh, Coast Highway and, you know, headed down the rim. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, if, if you aren't familiar with Nimble, you should definitely check out on Expedition Portal. Graham, um, one of our editors, has been doing some coverage on, on the vehicle. Um, so he has some really good insights. Just, he's such a seasoned yeah, yeah. traveler. I yeah. mean, if anyone can give you good feedback on this kind of a vehicle, he's, really he's one of them. Um, cool. Well, I appreciate you giving me kind of the overview of what you guys are all about. I love it. I love the, the fact that, you know, we're all gearheads. We yeah, love yeah. the gear. But really, when it comes down to it, like this is about getting out there right it in, really is about at the, the end of the day yeah it's the experience it's going to amazing places it's meeting these amazing people that are um, doing these things so um why don't we go and talk to john yeah. who's your founder and founder and chief engineer chief engineer yeah and uh let's have him give us a little walk around and talk about the camper rock on sounds awesome. great man great thanks uh, now I'm here with John Turner, who's uh, founder and chief engineer at Nimble Vehicles, and he's going to give us a little overview of the interior of the camper, some of the systems, and what's unique about this this particular vehicle. So I'll turn it over to you, John. Okay, great. Yeah. So, so we'll just kind of work our way around. First thing we come to is this is our toilet and shower enclosure. We have it set up so that it's not interfering with your view lines because you have just such great views through this camper. But if you want to use the toilet or the shower, this lifts up. This looks up, hooks in place, and so we have a 75 gallon water tank, so there's really no limitations on showers, uh, and uh, either a composting toilet or a cassette toilet, whichever you want. The other thing is that this is a great kind of catch-all, and so when we're traveling, you know, if we have big comforters, we'll throw it in here. If we have dirty laundry, we'll throw it in here. And then this is a great work service, mm -hmm. and we make it out of a honeycomb aluminum, so you can actually sit on it, party on it, whatever. Structural. Yeah, yeah. We just have a ton of storage because storage is paramount. So this is you know really deep dry goods storage here, okay. and then full queen size bed with with a, a, a basically a flat chest of drawers. So that's a phenomenal amount of storage of, under there. And what we do is we actually provide bags that fit that area so that you can keep your things organized. So that's the bedroom. We've got bathroom, bedroom, then the kitchen. So uh, we have a true induction mini duo uh, induction cooktop which is one of the very few, if not, oh, well, there's one of two 120-volt uh, uh, appliances. Everything else runs off of DC. Uh, we have a 24, oh, so we have a 12-volt DC air conditioner option that we add in here. It's a Dometic, what they call a parking air conditioner uh, that works really well, draws under 20 amps uh, in, their, in economy mode. Uh, and then uh, isothermal refrigerator. We do this right, there we go. <laughs> it's a safety catch. You have to pull it, release it, then open it. So nice refrigerator, microwave oven. Uh, if a customer doesn't want the microwave, then that's just another drawer right there. More storage. Yep, yep. R really deep sink. This is our control panel for the electronics. Okay. So we're using uh, Victron 
for all of our inverters and uh, DC to DC chargers and solar chargers and uh, then Battleborn batteries. Excellent. And uh, how, how big is this? Do you have, I assume there's a solar array on the roof? Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. So we're uh, almost 600 watts on the roof with an option to go up to 800. Okay. Yep. Yeah. So the way the roof is configured is that from here back is all solar panels. Okay. And then we have these two uh, ventilation fans, which is kind of nice. You can, if you really want to move air, you can have one in, Push one out, pull. right? Yep. Yep. Uh, and then a skylight power skylight from Turnover Land. Oh, uh, and then this is a multi-purpose space on the roof that if you want to, you can put Thule or Yakima racks or an additional solar panel. So, okay. And we've set it up so that you can actually access your rooftop storage through the skylight. Clever, no climbing on a ladder outside. You yeah. Know. yeah, 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 because it's pretty, it's pretty tall. And then because of the way we build this and that we're using hydraulics, we can lift 2,000 pounds with each of these. So we can, we can lift 8,000 pounds. So there's no limit as to what you can put on the roof. So you could build yourself a little rooftop deck and you yeah. could climb up there and you know watch the sunset <laughs> exactly. in your, your lounger. Exactly, nice. exactly. Uh, and then where you're sitting mm -hmm. is kind of the best seat in the house because if you look to the right, you've got this huge window. Yeah. And if you look to the left, you've got another huge window. Uh, and so we really paid attention to, to, the, to the view lines for when you're in the dinette. Uh, and then these are uh, Arctic Turn windows from Turn Overland. What we wanted was a window that took the most advantage of the space that we had to offer. And for those of you who are pre familiar with our earlier camper, instead of having this big window, we had a smaller square window. But now that we're moving to uh, carbon fiber uh, campers, we get you know the additional rigidity from that, which allows us to actually have these much larger holes in the camper shell and not uh, compromise the structural uh, you know characteristics of this shell. Yeah, and we're we're a fan of having the rear dinette because that way you back in and you have all the, you know you you back into your view. Yeah, so the dinette converts, and this is another this is another composite structure. So there's no. There's no Baltic birch or marine plywood anywhere. The only wood you see is actually this trim. Mm -hmm. So for us, it's really important to have, you know, water tolerant, dimensionally stable materials. And so we use a lot of honeycomb aluminum. We use a lot of carbon fiber because that's just what holds up for the long term. And we're, we're proud that, you know, our original prototype camper is still on the road and in fact is on its way down to South America right now. And you know, that's the first one we built. And this is number 62. Excellent. Uh, and then, of course, the dinette converts to another bed. Okay, so and, you get more sleeping room yeah, here. Yeah. yeah, and then there's there's a, you know, more storage underneath both of the seats. And, and also, we have the heater and the water heater underneath your seat. Okay. Uh, I wanted to, if I talk about the water heater and the heater for a moment, uh, we try to make it as easy as possible. And so... We, we sell, uh, we sell uh, on diesel trucks, but we also sell on gas trucks. And so we want you to not have to worry about fuel sources. And so if you buy you know, a diesel truck to put this on, well, you're going to have diesel appliances. And if you buy a, a petrol truck, because we really like the new uh, Ford 7.3 liter gas motor, especially for going down south, um, then your appliances are going to run off of gasoline. Got so, it. so it's really nice, and uh, we we made some real choices on that. Uh, we're using uh, Wabasto heaters. Uh, we use a, a Wabasto uh, Airtop Evo heater, which has altitude compensation in it, uh, and then we're using a Thermotop coolant heater to heat the water. Uh, and uh, because we found those individual heaters to be more robust than the Wabasto dual top, which is, which is a combined device. Got it. And is it safe to assume that you plumb those into the fuel tank? Yep. So, you know, no worrying about <clears throat> filling a separate fuel tank. It's just, it's just easy and it just works. Yeah, exactly. Cool. Well, uh, I really appreciate the thorough walkthrough here and showing us all the systems. Um, Camper is beautiful. I, I, I'm so excited to talk to Graham and hear firsthand, yeah. you know, what his experience is like traveling in it. Thanks yeah. for your time today. All right. Thanks. Yeah. Yeah. Well, glad to have the chance to show it off. <laughs>